We also watched AEW Dynamite, also September 16th, 2020. So Jurassic Express, the show opens, they're in the ring. They are awaiting FTR for their match. But unannounced, the Bucks make their way to the ring. The Young Bucks, they double super kick the referee. They head right backstage. They throw a giant stack of money at Tony Khan to prepay their fine before he can even levy them. And they pass by FTR, who mocks them for being jerks and picking a fight with the referee, which is a good point. I love that Tony Khan is like, he's the best actor on the show because he just doesn't act. He's just Tony like, Khan. He didn't, he didn't say a word. He didn't like jump up and get all mad. He's just sitting there watching the monitor. These crazy guys come back and they throw money at him. And he just like looks at them. And they walk away and it's just over and done with. Yep. There was no nothing. So eventually we do get FTR versus the Jurassic Express. FTR remains a phenomenal heel tag team. They have studied every tape there is to study. They know so many different ways to work together to get the heat, to work together to tease a hot tag, to work together to cut off the hot tag. Everything they do, it's not just a singles match with two guys taking turns playing the part of the heel. They are a tag team through and through. It's beautiful. And eventually... Uh, Cash Wheeler tries some kind of running dive and hits the ropes and flips over onto his head. I don't know what the hell he was thinking there. So I noticed something in, uh, in this match, and it's happened before, but there's two in the show. AEW loves to do tag team matches that follow the formula, the, the classic American-style tag team formula, except they do the hot tag and the comeback, but then rather than, rather than do the finish, they just do like 10 minutes more of wrestling. I'm not saying that it goes too long, but it's definitely a, a, a variant of the tag team formula that they love. They did in the Jericho match later, too. So after, like, 10 minutes after the hot tag, they're still doing two counts and back and forth in there. And I'm not sure exactly what happened. I, th I think Lucha charged and FTR dodged. But suddenly, Luchasaurus goes diving into the crowd. Wipes out dozens of people because he's a giant dinosaur. And Jungle Boy and Dax are trading cradles in the ring. And from the outside, Cash reverses one of the cradles and then illegally grabs Dax's hand to help him cradle Jungle Boy for the win. Just a great tag match start to finish. FTR remains awesome, and I looked it up. They have never won Tag Team of the Year. It's always the first time. Yeah, this match was a great match. Jungle Boy, it, again, they gave him everything. Yes. Cradle, 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 near fall, near fall, near fall, near fall. And then they fuck him to win. Now, I won't repeat everything because it was on Observer Live today if you want to listen, but somebody was very upset. He thought that Lucha or Jurassic Express, they're like a jobber tag team now or something like that. In the last two months, the only teams that the Jurassic Express have lost to are either the Young Bucks or the current AEW Tag Team Champions. Hmm. They lost to the Bucks, they lost to Hangman and Omega, and they lost to FTR. Every other match that they are in, they have won, including beating the Lucha Brothers two weeks ago on television. <laughs> yes. So they're doing a great job, especially with Jungle Boy. They're they're not rushing it. He's he's playing the young boy because he is, in fact, a young boy. And we're seeing him win every week, or not every week, but I mean we're seeing him grow before our eyes. He got the win over the Lucha Brothers. He was the guy that got the pin. Mm -hmm. And a, six months from now, a year from now, a year and a half, he's going to be a big star and probably the TNT champion. I just thought of this. I don't know his record. I know he's not win less. He loses more than he wins, I'm sure. But we're coming up on the anniversary show. I wanted to be something if Jungle Boy got his breakthrough win on on, on the one year anniversary of Dynamite. That would be that would be something to happen. 